Okay, I'm going to uh, get in the form y equals mx plus c, so the first part. Uh, add 5y to both sides, so I get 5y on the right equaling 3x minus 20. Divide through by 5, I guess y equals 3 fifths of x uh, minus 4. So I actually know what it looks like now. It asks me to find the gradient, uh, and the gradient ooh, is 3 fifths. I mustn't put 3 fifths x because it's just the number in front of the x. That's the first part. Part 2, the line crosses it. I'm going to draw the picture of what this looks like. So uh, it goes through minus 4. So here, minus 4, and the gradient goes across. Uh, goes up 3 for 5 across, goes up 5, goes across 3, something like that. Something like that. Uh, okay, that's the line L. It crosses the x axis at P, so that's the x axis, so that's P, and the y axis at Q, that's minus 4. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of PQ, what is exactly here. So I need to find out what the value of uh, the x value when uh, at P. So when y equals 0, we get 0 equals 3 fifths of x minus 4. So 3 fifths of x equals 4. So x equals times by both sides by 5 can be 20. Then divide by 3, x equals 20 over 3. So that is 20 over 3, 0. So that's that point there. And I'll find here, it's the average of the x values. Well, fairly obvious there. Midpoint is average of that. So it's 0 here, 20 over 3 here. That would be 10 over 3. And it's gone from minus 4 up to 0. So that would be minus 2. So I would just put it straight in uh, like that. You can do the y minus. You can do the average of x, so x1 plus x2 all over 0, y1 plus y2 all over, sorry, all over 2. Um, but it's much easier just to look at the diagram if you plot a graph. Uh, and that's the answer, and that's question 3 done.